hello hello and welcome back to my channel you guys it's your girl barbie aka i am barbie monroe you can find me on all platforms i will have all my tags up top this vlog is just gonna be me on my birthday trip i am going to miami and i'm gonna take you guys with me just got out of the shower so i'm gonna go ahead and get ready cook me some breakfast and hit the road so let's do it hope you enjoy <laughs> all right guys so let's go ahead and get ready if y'all pay attention to anything i post y'all will see that my girl already got my hair done for me got my nails done gets me on so all i have to do really is take this off and then we are gonna head to the kitchen because your girl needs to eat. If y'all been paying attention, I also just got my wisdom teeth removed yesterday. Negative 10 out of 10, would not recommend. Do not get it unless you need it. I did need it. My teeth were what the dentist called impacted. My back two molars didn't even grow in. They basically grew sideways and did not pierce the gum line. So they were doing was pushing my teeth closer and closer. And it was kind of starting to get painful. Went to the dentist and that was why. So ladies and gentlemen, make sure y'all have good insurance. <clears throat> and get, make sure you check up on yourself. So just got out of the shower, did my face care. And let's go ahead. And get some breakfast started. Come to the kitchen with me. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and get into this breakfast situation. I did decide to go with the little half up, half down um, at the last minute. So, we'll see the final look once I get dressed. But, I'm going to go ahead and get this breakfast ready. And do not laugh at my breakfast. Okay? Because, like I told y'all. I did just go ahead and get my bottom wisdom teeth done, so I have to eat like, today is only day two, the day after surgery, so I have to eat like soft noodles, eggs, so I decided to eat both, I'm going to just make me a two eggs over easy, probably chop that up and put it in some noodles, nothing spectacular, but I can eat it on the road and I do want to get out of here, it's currently December 22nd, the day before my birthday, at 7.08 a.m., and it's going to be about a five, six hour drive. So I don't want to lose a whole day because um, I'm only there until the 24th. So let's go ahead and get this breakfast and eat. And I don't know about y'all, but <clears throat> when I cook my ramen noodles, being the chef that I am, I put a whole bunch in it. So... Being that I'm not trying to flare anything up, I did take my medicine. Um, I had to take this one. This is for like pain um, with food. So I'm going to take that when I uh, get finished. But um, I usually put, <laughs> don't laugh me y'all, but I put garlic powder, onion powder, lorries, hot sauce, miracle whip, butter, and Chicago steak seasoning with just a tad of Worcestershire sauce. Don't sleep on that Worcestershire sauce. Y'all hear me? Period. It's delicious. Um, mix it up in my noodles. And I also add the Goya seasoning and uh, the butter and pepper. I, I add that in while I'm boiling my noodles so it kind of gives it that. But today, I won't be adding as much seasoning. <laughs> so I hope they're good still. But like I said, I'm trying to go easy. So let's get into it. So we're gonna go ahead and cook the noodles first because the eggs will get colder faster. So, um, and again, this is Barbie's way of cooking noodles. Okay? So if y'all don't do anything, excuse my bird. I might have to take her outside because she doesn't like when I talk to people and it's not her. Y'all give me one second because I'm not gonna be bothered. I gotta let this boil anyways. Y'all watch my water. <sighs> Sorry about that, you guys. Um, Okay. 
And again, if y'all watch my videos, y'all know I have a Scarlet Macaw. And they, if you look them up or whatever, they are known to being screamers for being screamers. And her thing is, if I'm not paying attention to her, not talking to her, that's what she likes to do. So y'all got a little earful of it. It should have been too loud. She can get a lot louder though. So it's time to go outside and get some fresh air. But yeah. Can't drink out of a straw either, so that's really good as well. But anyways, let's get into these noodles. So as I was saying before we were rudely interrupted. This is the Barbie way. So um, I used to boil my water first and then put my noodles in, but um, now I put my noodles in my water before it gets to boiling. And then I add my Goya seasoning and some of the seasonings that I add, some of them I don't add until I put the noodles in the bowl simply because I feel like it kind of boils away with some seasonings. So, but I do add my Worcestershire sauce, my butter, and my Chicago steak seasoning, and my Goya in the uh, water. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Yo, I'm so sad I'm out of Goya seasoning. <laughs> mm, I'm so sad. Well, I will add my Worcestershire seasoning. I feel like I got too much water. I'm going to be trying to have too much water because I like to have water in my ramen noodle soup. It's supposed to be soup, not just dry noodles. So I try not to have too much water because I like to pour it in. But when you have too much water, your seasoning will go to the bottom. So just like to cover the noodles and I'm making two packs so because I'm gonna be on the road for five hours your girl we gotta eat could eat nothing yesterday I had two yogurts and two out sauces y'all see this it look good now but I gotta eat okay so I'm adding a lot less seasonings than I usually would and again, disclaimers, because I had surgery, okay? Don't talk about my seasoning else. But this right here, the Chicago steak seasoning, might be backwards to y'all. By Weber, good. I put it on almost everything, to be honest. Literally. <laughs> Pork steak, steak, all the meats, except maybe chicken, but it's good. Now let's add our butter. Just a little box. No, I have this already opened. Last little bit, but see, I like to won't waste my butter. You get the butt at the duck, okay? Don't look like it's nothing in here, but if you go around these corners, what is that? Definitely butter. That's a little bit more than I usually put, but I want to go ahead and finish it. So. Let me tell y'all while we're making this breakfast. Let me tell y'all about these wisdom teeth. I did not like anything about it. So you have two options. <laughs> One was not an option for me because it would never get done. Um, but you have two options. 
if you've never had a devil before um you can get IV sedation or they can give you a local anesthetic where you're awake for the whole procedure that wasn't gonna happen baby because um it wasn't gonna get done I wasn't gonna sit still I wasn't gonna sit there for them to inject me with it the needle all my needle so they just gave me an IV y'all probably can't see my little mark just gave me an IV and y'all as soon as he put that medicine on he went out it was real quick um my um surgery started at 8 30. i was out of there by 9 30 10 o'clock it's not no extensive procedure he did have to take like do a lot of drilling on my right this is my right side and um uh, this side is very sore yesterday y'all won't believe me because i'm i'm hard-headed i am as soon as i got done with surgery as soon as i got done and my my nano was driving me so i did not drive like you're not supposed to under um, anesthesia but as soon as i got done i went and got these toes right i was in so much pain y'all but i had to get my toes done. i can't go to miami if i do anything i already can't eat how i want to i gotta at least look good hair done nails done toes done okay so straight from my sedation to get my toes done wouldn't recommend but I do what you gotta do and i worked two jobs the previous weekend so it was kind of hard i had my nail appointment this took roughly four hours and i had nails on that they had to remove as well so soak off but took out my whole day should have did that earlier but like i said i got off at seven that morning and needed a little rest so can't do what i had to do um but after that she took me home well, she took me to fill my prescriptions, my medications and the drugs they gave me um, for pain, for swelling, my antibiotics, because you don't want to get an infection. Um, it was about $70. Went home. We had to wait on it, so she took me home so I could rest. And then, you guys, I had a hair appointment. I'm a trooper. If y'all ask me, it's not anything I can't do. That's just how I feel, because I was going to get this hair done, okay? And that, surprisingly, my girl actually did really good. We started at about 4 o'clock, and she was finished by 9 p.m., 25 hours. This estimated was uh, 5 to 6 hours hairstyle. It's like tribal, half up, and then these are actually um, knotless braids in the back, and they're about small, medium. And, uh, yeah, so. So, yeah. Um, got that done. And I did take, my Nana did bring my medicine back when it was, uh, got finished. But after I took that medicine, I was feeling so much better. That um, that medicine really helped because I was in so much pain, y'all. It's not even funny. Like for real, to the point where if I need the top done ever, which thankfully I really don't, but anything can happen. But if I, listen, unless it's life threatening, or I'm in a lot of pain. These top are never gonna get done. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That mess was horrible. I only went over and under one time before for a different surgery. I had a cyst removed on my lower back. I felt the same way coming up. Like I just don't like that feeling of coming up and you can't barely move your body because you know you're coming off the, uh, the sedation and then my whole mouth i had him numb me up again like after they had numbed me up before i left it was so much pain but because of that i had him up numbing up that extra my lip i couldn't even feel my bottom like from here all the way here. my top was fine but my tongue my lips all this down here it was numb until like six o'clock that evening mind you i said i got out surgery 9 30 10 a.m yeah but it was good though because I also have stitches in my in both. I don't know if that's normal, but I know he said he had to do extensive work. Um, oh, and the reason he did he had to do that was because apparently this one didn't want to come out on the right side. So, and it feels so weird now that my tongue now that I have and I did have this tongue ring out. Just put it back in this morning, but um, it felt so weird um, when I had the sensation back in my tongue because I could feel the stitches now. I'm like, oh my goodness. It feels like there's stitches and then just an empty hole from like here all the way down to my jawline. I feel like it took like my jaw. My jaw is sore. Don't let me talk and clear. Fool y'all. I am in slight pain. I'd give it like a four. Nothing I can't handle. 
apparently I'm a trooper if I can get my hair and toes like the day after surgery. No, the day of, right after my surgery. Us women are amazing. Let me get some hearts below if you're a woman because draw power, okay? But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and warm my pan up for my, um, for my eggs. And y'all don't mind me, I've had this stove for four years and I still don't know which button turns on. <laughs> I can't even laugh, oh, that hurts. Um, listen, I've had this stove, I moved in this house in 2018, but I still get mixed up. It's okay though. So while that's finishing, again, this is my way. I don't like myself to be soggy, but I don't want them hard or crunchy. So I don't even time it. I just know how they look like when I pull them out the water. If they're too white, too many of them, like some of them can be, but majority, if they're too white still, they still need to cook. So I got to cook them. But anyways, y'all know what this is. Y'all don't have to read it because, but um, while that's finishing up, I do go ahead and start making my bowl that my noodles are going to sit in. And y'all, I hope this egg and got darn noodle taste good. I mean, I went to like Crane Raymond here in Gainesville, if y'all ever been. Definitely recommend. Um, and they have, you know, eggs in their noodles. Now, there's a hard boil, but mine are making hard, gonna be hard fried. I was thinking about, I'm, I might do over it medium, because um, their little boiled eggs, they make it however they make it. It do be having like a bit of a runny yolk. And I love me a, run, a good runny yolk, so. I was gonna do it over hard, but now I'm, thinking it through I think I will do over medium usually if I eat my eggs anyways I get them over easy or scrambled but because they're going in my noodles I didn't want scrambled eggs because I like my eggs cheesy but yeah so I add my miracle whip in I add since I'm doing two noodles I have two packs of the seasoning I add one whole pack in for now because I add the other one once I get the noodles in I do add a little bit more of this because you know that's just to get the flavor and I didn't have my Goya so I'm sad and I think that's all I'm going to put in it, honestly, because maybe a little garlic powder. I'm not trying to. But if y'all watch my cooking videos, you see Barbie don't be half-stepping, okay? It's brand new. But Laurie's garlic powder. Um, keep me some seasoning on deck, okay? You can't go wrong if your food season, even if you don't know how to cook. Just throw some seasoning on it. <laughs> not gonna add too much. My little feelings gonna be hurt if this is not, <laughs> if this is not good. And I usually add hot sauce and all that. I'm not gonna add that, but I will dab just a little bit of lard. Just a little. Bit. Can I get a little seasoning? Yeah, if I die. Pray for me. <clears throat> I just say if my mouth dies because the Lord knows. I'm his favorite, okay? I could tell y'all some stories. My life has been up and through it. If y'all wanna have some story times or whatever, like, you know, I'm kinda, I'm kinda new to this blogging. Um, I am so thankful for my almost 2,000 subscribers now. Last time I checked, you guys, I'm at 1.9 thousand. Um, so now I just need to really work on my watch hours, so I will be trying to vlog more. So if y'all could just go back and watch all my vlogging videos, not my shorts, because I didn't know till recently, the shorts don't actually count towards your watch hours. And I'm so mad because one short has a million freaking views and I have over a few million views combined. But please, if y'all love me or just for my birthday, if you want to just, you know, show love. I do have a few um, travel vlogs back there when I went to the DR, when I went to Vegas, when I went to, um, or I might not have posted Vegas, but when I took my nana to San Francisco for her 75th birthday, um, y'all can just go and watch those. They're only like 10, 15 minute videos. Um, I don't know how long this one will be. I'm gonna try to keep it in the same range. Uh, it might be a little longer because it's my three day birthday weekend, maybe like 30 minutes max though. I don't be trying to hold people too long, but if y'all enjoy it, I highly suggest watching my other ones. I am hilarious. I should have been a comedian. Just saying. But y'all enjoy it. I actually watch them several times. Not that I'm getting anything for that, but I actually enjoy watching my videos. So. And like I said, um, I like to pour this in here. I do like to mix it up first, though, because I want the seasoning stuff to get on before I put the juice. 
the soup, whatever you want to call it. But that does have all the extra seasoning and stuff I poured in the beginning. And then once I put the water in it from there, it should look like this. It's not too soupy. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's not too soupy. It just has a little, little jig to it. I don't like dry food in general. That's just something about me personally. I don't like dry food. If I'm eating any type of meat, have to have mashed potatoes and gravy with it or something. Y'all will always see mashed potatoes on my plate. Nine, nine times out of ten, nine and a half times. Hell, probably ten out of ten. But I don't, I don't eat no dry meat. I like, I just like to dip. I like to dip stuff too. So, put all my stuff back. Cause we love organization over here. Okay, baby. We do no mess. Clean sink, clean drainer, clean, clean, clean. Love the clean. All right, so while this is manifesting, we're gonna go and get into these eggs. I got that on low, and this is the gas stove, so y'all can actually see the fire when one goes up higher. I y'all can still see it, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put my canola, just so my eggs don't stick and they're easier to flip. Okay. And I do season my eggs, but today I'm just gonna do salt and pepper. <sighs> it's still gonna be good though, because I can cook, but I put seasoning on my eggs. So I, took, I put my Chicago steak seasoning on my eggs too, y'all. When I said everything, it's not too much I don't put on. <laughs> I already got my eggs out. Fresh cake. All right. So let's get it cracking. Literally. And as y'all watch more of my vlogs, y'all might notice that um, you know, just certain things about me as a person. Um, as you do with anyone, you get to know them or whatever. But I'm gonna just tell y'all something about me. Cause for a long time, I didn't want to admit this. But y'all, uh, I got OCD. My roomie, I rent one of my rooms out in my house and he's a great guy. He watches my vlogs sometimes and he's watching this probably laughing at this part but i do okay i do have ocd tap it so when y'all see me having to stop in the middle or put some back or i put my eggshells back in my case i don't want it to be half empty looking yes i have ocd i will admit i have slight i won't say heavy heavy but i have slight um ocd and a lot of things I don't even notice. Like I said, it took me over time to realize and recognize this. I just like to say I like stuff clean, you know? But apparently, apparently it's excessively. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get our plate because we're gonna put them on a plate first. Once I fry them, then I'll put them on. I'll chop them and put them in my oven. I might not chop them actually. I'll just put them in there because I'll get the yolk. Yeah, but I'm still gonna put them on this plate. Then you just separate the little where it connected at. For the kids that watch my vlogs. So when y'all learn how to cook. Because I do have um, my lovely children. Not my children. I don't have any kids. But just, you know, children that I know. Uh, children of parents I know. They do watch my vlogs. Shout out to y'all. Love y'all. Um... But um, as y'all will also notice another thing about me, this is some fun facts about Barbie, okay? Cause I never really did an introduction video. Maybe I'll do that, but just a little quick fun fact about Barbie. Um, I don't curse. You'll never see me curse in any of my videos. You might like hear some in the background from like uh, music on my videos, my short videos, but I personally don't curse. Um, never smoked anything a day in my life. Don't plan to, doesn't interest me. Don't like the smell, don't like when certain people do certain things, how it makes them act and all that crazy stuff. Um, 
I don't drink. I'm not even finna drink on my birthday weekend, y'all. But I have drunk before, but I can't drink simply right now because of my, you know, you know, I was have alcohol for seven days. Or soda. That's a bummer. But and I want them over easy, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them off. Y'all don't take nothing but two seconds. And then I just push it off the heat. Nothing major. Make sure this is good and mixed up. Usually it would be really orange, but like I said, no Goya season. It's just good to me. I wouldn't say it's like needed. So, one of my pills, this is the one I have to take with um my, with food, preferred to take with food. So I can't take pills. I might have to edit this part out on Amadou, but I am gonna break this in half because to me, what y'all just saw is a big pill. Okay. Not like pills. So I just break it in half and take it. I'm gonna take it off camera. alive y'all took one half okay at least this pill doesn't have like that nasty now some pills taste nasty not this one all right so y'all this is how i like my eggs with a lot more seasoning and sometimes i put cheese on them but because we're going here but just to show y'all you do a little prick that lovely yolk comes right now, but I don't want to run out too much because I want to go in my noodles. Boom, yeah, I'm gonna actually flip it over so the yolk can spit out on the noodles. <laughs> Y'all, I hope it's good. I've never put eggs in my got noodles before. But like I said, they do it at Crane Raymond and it's good, so. Clean up our mess. Fork, put my plate away, put my eggs up. And um, that's it, you guys. I'm gonna hit the road. I will check back in with y'all, uh, though, because I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. And I will give y'all my fit check. It'll be nothing spectacular. Um, another fun fact about me I don't own not one name brand uh, clothing item. If I do, it's probably Nike not big on it i like my money to be in my bank account okay so i can do things like this this ain't coming out of nothing but my spending money my play money so that's how i like it to be but no hate if you like to wear your money that's all cool it's just not my cup of tea okay but i do be cute though so this needs to cool off anyways i can't i still have to eat um room temperature warm for day two so i will let noodles and stuff cool and i'm gonna go get dressed and i'll be back hope y'all enjoyed my little breakfast my crazy breakfast but y'all like it but yeah all right you guys i am dressed and i'm ready i'm back with my regular degler schmegler outfit um it's just a little crop piece that i got off ever um Simple and cute. <clears throat> Simple and cute. Um, nothing too major. Just gonna be comfy around Miami and then the pants. Y'all can see them in the mirror. Just regular degular pants. <clears throat> but yeah, so I am ready for Miami. Got my bed made up. I'm ready to go. Just a little chill, and I got them paired with my crazy Crocsy poos. I love these Crocs. Um, just going on. Like I said, nothing fancy, but I'm still cute, period. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the road. It's almost eight o'clock. It is 7.45 a.m. on the dot. Gonna grab my breakfast and head out the door. So, let's go. What's up, you guys? I have made it to Boca Raton. Welcome to, if y'all can see, let's see, how you zoom in? Boca Raton, welcome. 
I am going to go ahead and get me some gas. I'm not too bad, but I want to go ahead and get me some gas. So I don't know if y'all can see me zoom in my back camera. I want to show y'all the sign. But I have made it to Boca Raton. We're going to go in the gas station. Just a quick little update. They got a few. I don't drink Starbucks, but I know most people do. But yeah, so we're going to go into this little gas station and get me some to drink. Because I do need to take my 12 o'clock um, like ibuprofen pain pills for my uh, my 2 o'clock. My 12 o'clock is 12.20 uh, p.m. You know, I've been on the road since 8 a.m., just about 8 a.m. So I'm making good time. I will actually be in Miami in about an hour. Um, it said 58 minutes, but I've been sitting at this light. Uh uh. So um, I will be in Miami. Sorry, I don't know if y'all can see me. I'm trying to drive now. But um, I will be in Miami in about an hour. So we're gonna go into this gas station, and I will keep y'all updated. you guys we have made it officially to miami so i've already put my stuff up and changed because it is insane how different the um temperature is went from 58 to about darn uh 85 degrees here so let me show you guys the hotel and the room then we're gonna go Got here kind of later than I expected, but um, I think the only thing that would be uh, available would be the museum because it's open till nine. So, but let me turn the camera around. All right, so you got these little stairs, and then this is the front lobby. Very quaint, very cute. I guess like a little sitting area. There's me. Hola, my new tripod. And then, looks like they have a lot. Oh, it's another sitting area. I haven't even looked at all this. I went straight to my room, y'all. But this is cute. Maybe this is where they do breakfast. I guess there's something back here. I don't think I think about it. <laughs> oh, that's the thing. Oh, this is cute. I think that might be it. I think the rest is for... Yeah, a washroom. All right, so let's go to the room real quick. Then we're gonna get on with our day. Yeah. All right. So we'll get off the elevator, and then my room is this way. They just redid the carpets. He said it looks pretty decent, I guess. And here I am. What is that right here? It's a cute little room. Not too fancy. But we come in. This is the room. And this is the bathroom. A little bit. It's cute. I don't plan to be in here much, so. And I had to change. Y'all yeah, see, it is so hot. I meant to pack some shorts and just moving too fast. I did not pack any shorts, y'all. But yeah, so that's a little bathroom. All right, there's a little closet. Not really seeing here either, safe. But I keep it on me, so it's not going in there. Then the bed, I already sprayed it. Had to, had to put them sheet back, you know. I don't know about y'all, but I checked my bedding. I got a little table. This is where I'm gonna be vlogging at. Nice little light, got my ring light. Has good lighting though. Not too much of a view, just the main road or whatever. But yeah, so let's go ahead and, I haven't decided if I wanna drive or take an Uber, but I'm gonna head to the museum and just get a little bit running around. Oh, I love this little, um, that's like a light. 
But yeah, let's go ahead and get some running around us. See a little bit of Miami. Go see what they got at the Arts Museum. I love museums. And um, yeah. All right, you guys. We are headed to the Uber. And then we are headed to the museum. Not sure why, but my first Uber canceled on me. But um, hopefully this one will be better. We shall see. We shall see. All right, guys, say bye to my Uber driver. Say bye-bye. Thank bye -bye. you. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. All right, guys, we have made it to the museum. We have made it to the museum. So, now we have to find the entrance. That'll be fun. Nothing too major. Nothing too major. All right, all right, all right, all right. We are at the Perez Arts Museum, you guys. Time to get some shaky pictures. I don't know which way to go. I guess it says to the left. So we're going to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. We in their picture. Get out their picture. Get out their picture. To the left, to the left. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Let's see what we got in store. Put these legs back up because I'm about to tell myself. Come on. Hold on, I'm trying to put my legs back in my thing because it gets good turn to the tripod all right so here we are I hope it's pretty okay it's gonna make me a TikTok might take me some pictures over here it's cute what is this do you, do you just walk through it I guess you just walk through it jungle oh it's gonna break my phone i don't think i like this it's the kids y'all why y'all let me come in this to mess me all up i don't like this i want to get out i'm going back no i might as well go forward i'm already halfway there i'm not doing this ever again this is a bad idea never doing that again horrible idea okay it's okay you live and you learn 
I have no idea what the point of that was. All right, uh, that's in the Spanish. All right, so I think we're still going this way. All right, y'all. We're still going this way. Why is my sh loose? Arts Museum. There it is. So. Oh, look at the pretty water, you guys. I've seen so many boats. I go on my cruise on New, uh, Christmas Eve, so. All right, here we go, main entrance. Where is our email? main entrance? So, I guess we're going this way. And I gotta use my phone to scan. So I'll be right back, y'all. But this is the entrance, not too fancy. I'll be back, y'all. Oh, you're painting this? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Do you mind being on camera? No, no, no. Look at he's painting you guys. That's cool. I didn't even see him at first. Must got a steady hand. He wasn't barely moving. That's cool. Look at that detail. It's very nice. These two you did? Yes. So you think about like doing tattoos or? Oh, uh, that makes sense. It's probably different, right? Actually doing it in the skin and just painting. Yeah, that's cool. Very nice, thank you. Have a good day. Do I go that way or that way? Which way do I continue? Do I go this way or I go up there? Oh. No, I just started. Oh, okay. The other this No, I'll take this there. These look so real. It's really pretty. Look at that, y'all. I was just gonna touch it too. Good thing I read. But that is, I was gonna show y'all that it's like textured, but I can't touch it now, so. That is so cool. Huh, that's nice. I like this one. I wish I could take him home. Shoo. All right, so he said it's the second floor, so. Let's see what's up here. Oh, I gotta go up all these stairs, y'all. Y'all know I don't like stairs. I'm the type of person that'll fall going up the freaking stairs, so. And I'm mad it didn't let me do my tripod because I was gonna do TikToks in here. Y'all, I thought them was real people I'm trying to touch. Them is not even real people. That is pitiful. It's some more stairs. Jeez, Louise. Oh, so, oh, see, you got fall going upstairs already. Look, it's a little cinema, I guess, where you watch art. Not what I'll be doing. Y'all, I'm gonna fall going up these stairs. I'm talking about somehow I'll take the stairs to the elevator. Take an elevator next time.
That's pretty. That's nice. I could have did. I could have did that. Yeah. I could have did that. I bet that's just paint too. Tight. so cute I wonder what they are oh walk away did they like pass away I don't know oh it says scan me I don't know how to scan you I don't know how to do that I'll probably give you information but not today I saw a fish on the cat's back.
What's up, y'all? We have reached the end of the day one in Miami. And I've been up since 6 a.m. So I am, it's only 6.20 p.m. And I am exhausted. Ooh. My mouth's starting to hurt. Ready to take my pain pill. Can't take that till 10. But I'm gonna lay down till then. But I hope you guys enjoy. It's only day one. We have two more days. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.